physiological. A physiological and anatomical infrastructure has to be built in order to channel or sustain a state of being that is that is one that is the total expression of your true self. There's no way that you can even be spiritual without having the body in the correct position to be that. It's not even possible. It's it'll be a mixed bag. It'll be inconsistent spirituality. It'll be a total roller coaster where you might tap into it for a few moments in life and then you go back down. You're not maintaining this sense of self of timelessness of spirituality. And if you did reside at this state, then you'd not, just the thing, right? If the body's in position, you no longer resist temptation. Temptation is not the same issue that it was. If all you have, as far as not doing something, is to resist this, it's like, okay, are you removing the stress or resisting the stress? The stress is still there. The energy that, you, that is being pushed on you is still there. Whether it's a uh, cheeseburger, a blunt, a fifth of uh, uh, cognac. It's like, it's all still there. So, if your only defense is to resist this, then... You haven't removed the stress. So physiologically, biologically, if your body is not in position, you cannot reside in a spiritual state of existence. So you can't go from A to Z. People want to act like they're spiritual, but their body is not in a position. So if the body is not in a position, then the thoughts will not be in position. You'll be thinking much more than you would be. People put so much value on thinking. I think, therefore, I am. I, I am, so therefore, I can think. Thinking is just a roadmap to being aware. It's just a sign. So, people's thoughts are out of line. The body's out of line. So, spiritually, you will be out of line or totally absent. People haven't even established a will, let alone tapped into it. Some people have totally forfeited the will. It's ne they've never developed it. You have to nurture these things. If you've lost it, or you're born at a deficit, regardless, even if you're born with it, you have to nurture these things. Again, the true food of the spirit or soul, whatever you want to call, is the abiding by the laws of ma'at, selflessly giving and abiding by the laws of the universe. So, when it comes to spirituality, you, like Sebi would say, behave yourself. If your body is sick, it's a sick spirit, no? You can't treat your house, which is your body, which is all you need. The temple. You can't treat that like a garbage can or a graveyard. So, for most people, they've never consistently resided at that point. They've never even got to a point where they are consistently being themselves, the true self not the persona. So, they apply their own personal limitation onto you. And, um, yeah, that's what it is. Just a little short video for y'all, something light. Uh, you have to build physiological and anatomical infrastructure. Nurture it in the body. Frontal, prefrontal lobe. That will be connected with the uh, spiritual aspect of our being. Cerebral cortex is the humanness in our being, logic and certain creativity and intu intuitiveness. Then you have limbic or mammalian brain and reptilian. These are all creative faculties that we all possess in this vehicle. Because this vehicle is our only possession, the only thing that we need. Um, so, wherever we reside, if we use it all in, in tandem and all as one in a complementary way, instead of being up and down all over the place, then we'll use the creative faculties to their fullest potential. But most people are stuck. Energetically, they have blockages, and you see what we create.